everyone, it's me Kai, and I'm back with another Halloween video. It's this bright Lisa Frank inspired neon leopard body paint that also glows in the dark. Neon animal body paints are something I kind of do often, they're so fun. I love doing anything that's colorful and instantly stands out and the UV aspect brings it to a whole new level. Let's get started. So as always, I'm starting off by gluing my brows down. Not because I'm using SFX latex over them or because I want to draw higher ones, but only since I just don't want them to get in the way, the texture would just distract from the illusion that I'm painting on my face. Once that's done, the fun can begin. I'm going to be using these Hydra Lighters from Suva Beauty. They're basically just water activated face paints, which I use all the time on my channel, except these glow under black light. Not this white one though, I'm just using this white to create a base highlight around my eyes, my nose, my mouth, and also down my neck and stomach. If you look at a reference picture of a leopard or any big cat, the lightest parts are always around these areas. And I always like to start out with my lightest colors first. So after the white is laid down, I'm going around it with a yellow face paint. So the idea is to start with the lightest areas and then go around them with a the second lightest, which is yellow. You can see here the yellow does in fact glow in black light. But after the yellow, I'm going to put down an orange and then a pink, making sure that each color I add blends into whatever was there before it so that you can't really tell where one starts and the other ends, pivoting everything I do around the idea that those areas I mentioned are the lightest areas and the main focal points of the look. I tend to find blending really challenging with water-based face paints. With creams, you can kind of overlap them, use circular motion, stipple, but water-based face paints, once they dry, they can't really be blended and if you wet your brush too much you can actually take away the product from your skin it's really annoying it takes me forever and checking my work under black light was even more frustrating because I would see streaks and patchiness that I didn't even realize were there until I put the black light on and I can be kind of a perfectionist. Of course, you don't have to do this look in UV. You can just be a daylight neon leopard. But I've never played with black light on my channel before and I was just experimenting and being creative. Where would we be without creativity? We would all be Manny Emmy Way. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. The good news though is that once your base is created and you're happy with it, the hardest part is now done because the details are actually pretty easy and kind of therapeutic I find. If you want, you can go in and deepen some of the colors with powders. Not necessary since water paints dry on their own so you don't need to set it with powder, but it is a way to add more dimension and color. So in my case, I wanted to add a little more purple in there with the pink and I didn't have purple body paint. So now would be the time to do it before we do more details. All I did for the eyes was just this bold winged liner and on the bottom as always I like to extend it down with white eyeliner but instead of having a crisp lower liner with black I did a kind of textured line as if it was like hair or something down there. Um, for the eyes by the way I recommend using like actual eye makeup like eyeliners but for everything else just use black water activated face paint if you have it since it comes off easier. Um, I'm making a little cat nose here, um, outlined in black and filled in with pink, and I blended the black into the center to make it look a little 3D. Also adding that like little butt cheek line and highlight. I don't know what that line is called, but you know how like animal noses are like in two halves? I didn't go to school for fucking zoology, okay? Just look at a reference picture. As I'm drawing the details of the cat nose and mouth and chin, you want to have a loose hand so you can draw some like hair strokes in there. That is what's going to really make this look look detailed. Now for the spots, which is my favorite part of the look and what I was referring to when I said it's actually kind of therapeutic. And for this, the brush that you use can make your life a lot easier. This is actually a long, thin paintbrush that's got a little bit of water activated black paint on it. And with some pressure, I kind of just push and wiggle it into the skin so it makes a little peanut shaped mark. And then I stamp another one right next to it that's just a little bit smaller by just pressing lighter. And that's how you make a leopard print. So much easier than it looks. You don't want to just do polka dots. They're a little bit more detailed and unique than that but you also don't want to be tracing the shapes and filling it in let it be organic and just listen to what the brush strokes are guiding you to do you'll naturally get a feel of how far you want them to be spread out some other advice make sure you're constantly reloading your brush with product so you can do one clean press of the brush and not go back in and fix it um, but one important thing to remember do not use too much water the water to paint ratio is key to body painting too dry and you get no color payoff but too wet and then the water will just drip down your face and ruin the base underneath and you'll just feel like throwing someone down the stairs after a few times of doing this you'll get a feel for 
what's right, but it's kind of better to err on the more conservative side when it comes to the amount of water you use because you don't want to ruin the base that took you so long. You can make some practice marks on your hand or something else if you're too scared to commit right away to the face. But as for the body, you can kind of get away with actually making the spots bigger and farther apart. Your face should have the most detail so that the eyes are led right to it when people look at you. Finally, I'm putting on my lashes and then my contact and my wig and that's the finished look. You don't really need to set this with powder. That's just the nature of water-based face paints. They dry normally. They have their ups and their downs. Um, to see how I made this wig glow in the dark, you'll have to wait for that video to come out tomorrow. Until then, let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks so much for your support, you guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!